Hey Northern Beekeepers, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be making some candy board to put inside of uh, your nukes or uh, double deep hives over the winter for an emergency food source. So what this is going to consist of is sugar, a uh, an additive of bee health, uh, honey bee healthy, something like that, that contains uh, some amino acids that help the bees, uh, water, and just put it on a piece of wax paper. So, okay, guys, this is some of the stuff that uh, you could use to make your candy board. You're going to need uh, granulated sugar. I purchased a 25 pound bag. You can also go with uh, your standard five pounds at the grocery store. Uh, I have a food scale there just to measure out five pounds exactly. You're going to need water, a uh, measuring cup. In this case, we're going to be putting one cup of water per five pounds of sugar. I also have that shot glass there because I'm going to put in a little over uh, an ounce of the uh, the B Pro Health. I'm going to mix that with each uh, five pounds of sugar. What that does is that you know probably uh, provide some essential oils over the winter that could help with uh, any of the health problems your bees might have. So in this case, this is the Man Lake Pro Health. I've also used uh, Honey Bee Healthy in the past, but uh, I just purchased this and uh, I'm going to try it out. So let's get to making there. You're going to need a, a mixing bowl and a spoon. And uh, let's start mixing all this stuff together. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll measure out five pounds of sugar. Doesn't have to be super exact. Take our uh, measuring cup here, put in one cup of water. Kind of mix that in around in there. We're going to add, uh, like I mentioned, an ounce and a quarter of the Pro Health. The reason I'm doing that is there's 128 ounces um, per gallon. If I did one ounce, I'd have 28 ounces left over, so I'm just going to add a little quarter of an ounce. Since I have 100 hives, it works out good there. Not too exact. I do have a bit of a cold today, and uh, smelling these, those lemongrass oil really opens up the pores. So we're going to take that and mix it up really well. I'm going to stir this up so it's going to be semi-solid. You don't want a lot of liquid. We're going to have to let this dry overnight, kind of cure and set up so it's more uh, It'll be more of a solid when it gets put into the hive. The uh, sugar will also act as a moisture attractant. Um, so it'll help absorb some of the moisture from the hive over the winter. And it'll add, it'll be uh, an emergency food store for the bees. They won't really even touch this until, you know, time to get pretty lean uh, towards the spring. Last spring I put uh, just regular dry sugar on top of the hives. Several of my hives never even touched it, some did. So what I also have here from my video last time is this, uh, this feed shim. This was a 1x6 I just cut in half. I drilled a half inch hole in the front so the bees can get in and out. So I'm going to use this. <clears throat> here to kind of measure out exactly uh, how much I need to pour to get, make sure it all fits. So we'll just take this and uh, kind of scoop it out. It's 
got the consistency of uh, kind of Play-Doh. Something similar to that. Move that there. And now I'm just kind of packing it down in there to make a kind of solid form. So when it does dry, it's not uh, all loose and be crumbly so it'll be kind of a hard brick this is going to be more of a brick style once it dries out so there you have it kind of smush these up a little bit just to make sure it fits in my nukes and there you have it folks Here's a five pound block of uh, bee feed for the winter. If you have any questions about uh, anything else, put them in the comments. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.